Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to create a responsive navigation bar. This is the most important element of your website and you should make it responsive for smartphones and I will show you how to do that. We start with a nav containing an unordered list. Here our navigation links are listed as Lee elements. Let's copy this several times and enter some sample content like blog, news, about, and login. I will use a placeholder for the href attribute, you would have to enter a URL to the different HTML pages that you want to link to. Next, let's start styling the navigation bar. I set the background color to white. Next we need to define some styles for the all. We set the width to 100 to make it expand the full width of its container and we use Flexbox properties to align the items to the right and center them vertically. If you don't know how to Flexbox works that is no problem because you will understand now. Moving on to the list items navly each list item represents a navigation link so we define its height to be 50 pixels giving us a suitable height for the links. You also may have no ticks that we never actually declared a height for the navbar or the all because we want the list items to define the height of their parents. Now let's start the anchor text A. We set their height to 100 to make them match the height of the list items and we add a padding to create some space around the text. We should use display flex and align item center to center the link content vertically. The text decoration is set to none to remove the default underline and we specify the color as black. Additionally we add a hover effect to the anchor text to change the background color to a light gray creating a visual feedback. Now the last thing to do before we make this navigation bar responsive is to align the first list item which is the learn to code with Alex logo on the left side. Everything else should stay at the right side. To do that we only have to use the first child selector on our navli and apply a margin right of auto. Alright. If you managed to get to this point great job because you've created a navigation bar for desktop devices. Now, let's make this responsive for mobile devices. We will add the button which will open the mobile menu. I will add the class menu button to identify our element which will open the sidebar. Next, let's hide default this button because we want to show it just on mobile devices. Let's create now the menu for the mobile devices. I will add the close button as you can see and I will add a class to identify the menu for mobile devices named sidebar. After that, we will copy the element above from the desktop menu. This sidebar should always be stacked with the right side covering everything else. We don't want it to influence other website elements. So the only logical way of doing that would be to declare position fixed, top 0, right 0, height 100 viewport height meaning the full height of the screen and width 250 pixels. The background color is white. And let's add a box shadow as well. Perfect now we want to display the link from top to bottom. We use Flexbox for that. Display Flex and Flex Direction column. Let's uncenter the links by declaring Align Items Flex Start and Justify Content Flex Start. By default this sidebar should not to be displayed, so we will set Display to None. Now let's add the identifier class name Desktop Menu to our elements from Desktop Menu to can hide these when we will show the mobile menu.
we will create a media query with condition max width of 800 px to hide the desktop elements when the width of the screen is under 800 px and show the icon menu for mobile devices. Let's add the action which will open the sidebar with mobile menu on the menu button element. I called him show sidebar. On the end of the body tag we will define the JavaScript function which I called show sidebar which will select the sidebar from the page and I will change the display property from none which is default to flex. Now we need to set the width of sidebar Lee elements to 100% to expand elements on width of parent container. As you can see, if the sidebar is opened we can't close it now. Let's create this functionality adding to the sidebar x icon action named hide sidebar and define the function in JavaScript to hide this sidebar when is clicked on x icon. We will do that by setting the display to none. Congratulations if you managed to do as I did in this tutorial, your navigation bar now it's responsive by having menu showed on desktop devices and an hamburger menu for mobile devices. And last thing we have to do is to make this sidebar to be 100% of device size if the maximum width of it is under 400 pixels. Thanks for watching at this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this tutorial to more content like this. If you have any questions, you can write on the comments section of this video.